General Electric, also known as GE, is an American multinational conglomerate headquartered in Boston. Its history is very long. It sees its origin in a company founded by J.P. Morgan at the end of the 19th century, merging various organizations, including the company created by Thomas Edison. Over the years, it grew significantly, expanding in various fields, including aviation, power, renewable energy, digital industry, weapons, manufacturing, and many others. Innovation must be in the DNA of this company, born on top of the organization founded by Edison, often considered as one of the icons of innovation. In the new century, among the greatest innovation they launched from a product perspective, they even fostered innovation in terms of project management. In particular, they revised the kind of project that is traditionally managed through a stage-gate approach, the new product development process. As the world has become more digital, with more information surrounding product development, faster processes, and a wider global competition, the traditional way to approach product development may not be suitable anymore. GE embraced the change collaborating with Eric Reis, the creator of the Lean Startup approach. The approach inspired by agile principles that says at the basis of some of the greatest success in the platform world. The collaboration between GE and RISE presented in the Startup Way, the book by RISE that introduced the principle of lean startup in established organization, created the Fastworks, the approach that GE embraced for new product development. To better understand what Fastworks is, we will use the case of GE Appliance. In 2008, GE invested $1 billion in the field of home appliances, launching 11 product platforms, hiring 3,000 workers, and renovating six plants. The first attempt to use the Fastworks was the creation of a new refrigerator with French doors. In January 2013, they launched a challenge to their development team. You are going to change every part the customer sees. You won't have a lot of money. There will be a very small team. There will be a working product in three months. And you will have a production product in 11 or 12 months. Instead of having salespeople giving the requirements, they involved the end users throughout the entire process. The first prototype, a minimum viable product, was ready within the month and showed it to end users, getting right after feedback on the material, the lightning, and other aspects. In August, they had the fifth version, after various revisions, and the users started to appreciate it. This brought to the decision to build the 75 products of the sixth version and launched in January 2014, receiving a great response from the market. The plan, at that point, was to launch new products every year, with the 10th version, with better lightning, was launched in October 2014. This fast release process may seem normal as users. We receive updates from app providers even weekly, but it is not common in the product world. Historically, GE revised products every five years. Now, they consider speed as a competitive advantage. This is a simple example that shows the main logic of the Fastworks framework, which is based on a cycle of six steps that are the identification of the customer need, where to explore, discover and frame the challenge or innovation opportunity, the definition of a potential solution, where to propose a solution that deals with the identified need, third, the identification of leap of faith assumptions, hypotheses that will need to be tested from both a technical and a commercial perspective. Fourth, the production of the minimum viable products. It means to design and execute various tests to prove the assumptions of the previous step. Fifth, the definition of the learning metrics, which means measuring and exploring customers' action and behaviors by involving the end users in the MVP test. Sixth, the decision to pivot or persevere which means using the reactions of the end users to the previous step to decide if going on in the same direction, pivot to another, or to stop the project. This final step would restart the cycle right after. There is always the same player at the center of the entire cycle.
the end user. To conclude, it is important to highlight that to make FastWorks work, many changes have been made in several areas. The new product development team needed to engage suppliers sooner and more continuously throughout the process. Going back to the refrigerator, the team went to the factory in January 2013, inviting the suppliers there as well, which later showed gratitude for that early involvement. The finance guy was in the room as well. He helped challenge the big company mentality. Traditionally, the company looked for a one or two years payback. While this is not possible with this approach, the agile mindset requires experimenting first, making an investment, knowing that traditional financial systems are risk mitigation tools and there is typically no value in speed, which is becoming more and more relevant in the market, on the contrary. From a leadership perspective, much power is given back to the team, which is autonomous in taking decisions. This clearly required a strong management commitment in adopting this new approach. To conclude, GE Appliance reached great results. Half the program cost, twice the program speed, and selling over two times the standard sales rate. After the application in GE Appliance, the method was brought in other units. RISE trained 80 coaches to FastWorks, which then trained 1,000 GE executives to these principles that were applied in many fields, like designing turbines, healthcare solutions, and also non-manufacturing disciplines across the business. This video is built on the HBR article How GE Applies Lean Startup Practices by Brad Power, published in 2014 and on the speech at the Lean Startup Conference by Mark Little, published from the Strategy Group. Both the sources are in the description of this video.